Just wanted to make a video on uh, all my knives. Uh, not gonna mention the tsunami. Round, light, it's great. Uh, I wanna mention this thing. It's a little rare these days. Everyone bought them, immediately sold them for double the price, then just bought a trainer when they came out. Nautilus V2. And my modded Kraken. Uh, speed channels, of course. So, I think we should start off with the Kraken. I've had this blade for a year. My handle's cracked on my original Kraken. Crack, Kraken, I'm fucking autistic. Uh, yeah, got some new handles from Squid for free, but they kept the blade because it was still working. They gave me an undersized bushing. I'm too lazy to send this thing out to get the thing fixed. I've, I've, like, recently I've really started to not give a fuck about tolerances. I do not care anymore. Like, if you're not falling apart, then, like, I don't care. Very flippable. So, yeah, after using the Nami for so long, this has started to feel really blocky. You know? And the tank pin is very sharp, but gets rounded slightly over time, because this thing has been beaten a lot. No matter how weird this thing feels or how outdated it might get because of my new knives or whatever, I'll always call this thing home because it's it was my first live blade, right? Can I just do that? Wow, it was my first live blade. I still have those. I still have its old handles in the uh, the box because the when I when I got the the knife back from RMA. They actually threw in the old handles, the, the cracked ones. How nice of them. Uh, I don't go for walks anymore. I just go for runs. So when I, when I was walking, I could very casually take this thing, drop it on concrete while walking. But I, can, I can't flip while running, so I don't really... I don't whip this out anymore. I main the uh, Nami over there. But it's still a very nice flipper, of course channel gives it a ring it's still nutty if i got new like pivot hardware dude this thing would be insane just fun to flip nautilus uh very light it's like 3.6 ounces i've recently grown accustomed to lighter knives i don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing uh very nice knife i think because of its design and it being made of g10 it uh it still gets like, it's not, it's like, it's like fake tap, uh, tape tap because of, well, it's real tap, but it's tap caused from a blade rub, you know, I like this, this rounded top, but for me, it's a little too much because I like to stay close to the, the tank then, the, yeah, no, the tank, the Zen nipple or whatever, or the tang nipple, I like to stay close to that when I flip, so, like, if you get caught in this thing, it's really bad. Because it's rounded, so you won't immediately come off. Like, it hurts like shit. It only happened for, like, the first week of owning it, but, you know. Still bad. Uh, jimping. Jimping on all squid knives is done different for no reason. Like, look at this. Shallow and closed off. That I can understand, because it's Chen, which... Best jimping on any squid knife. New, like, subtle, but it's there. Those are all across. It's... You know, not very spread apart. Very deep, and there are more going up to the handle. It looks different on all Squid products. It's weird. Uh, you know, this thing is nice. I might sell it, though, not because of the tolerance issues. It's just not... I don't need this anymore. I, I don't need a Nautilus. Uh, the sound is obviously nice. It, it's just a very light and fun flipper. If you're if you're like a person who goes out a lot and wants to take a trainer with you, yeah. And, or if you're a beginner looking to get into the hobby, 110% recommend this thing. Tolerances are. Fine. I don't I don't have to tighten this thing. It's not like a bushing issue. Sometimes when I tighten it, it'll fix the blade rub and tap. I don't really care. Uh, usually when I oil it is when it just fixes itself. Onto this. Uh. This is the live. This is the light V2. Technically, the live blade Prisma, which Machine Wise did one run of. Uh, 
you know, technically, yeah, so you, you technically did one run of this. Everyone immediately either stripped this thing for parts, you know, people using the blade or handles on different blade or handles, or just sold this thing and scalped it, right? Personally, I'm just going to keep this as a collector's piece, but as a flipper, it's okay. Jimping is pretty well done, I suppose. I wish there were more, I wish there were less jimping lines, and, and with the extra space you would get from removing those extra jimping lines, jimping lines at the top, you would just spread apart these jimping lines, jimping lines at the bottom, but it's pretty good. It's about as heavy as my Nami. Maybe, I think a little heavier than this thing. Uh, it's pretty nice, I guess. When I first got it, I hated it. It's definitely not my favorite flipper, but now that I've gotten better at flipping, I guess it's just nicer to flip. It's nothing very fluid. It's just flippable now, right? So I think this is okay. Razor sharp, though. This is the only knife that... Well, that thing has cut me a lot. This blade is unsharpened, so I, like, I don't pay attention to it, and I'll get cut. It's dumb. This thing is pretty sharp. This is the only knife I can... This is the only live blade I have that I can actually imagine being scared of getting cut by. Uh, you know, I think I'm also going to sell my Nautilus because I just don't need a trainer anymore. I don't really care. Live blades and trainers are the same to me at this point. I actually throw in the Nami just because uh, this thing is light. The chamfering on the blade feels really nice. So you cha the chaplain's very nice. It's... Let's see. It's very neutral. If anything, a tad blade biased, I guess. Especially if it didn't come with any weights. Uh, this is my, my go-to. This is my daily fucking driver. This is just what I'm going to flip until the end of time. I don't know why I have my other knives. They're just there. Uh, and I'm actually going to... I, I would sell the Nautilus, but people have kind of moved from the tag to Discord, and I'm banned from the ballast selling Discord, so I can't really sell this. <clears throat> yep. I don't know. That's all my knives. If I had to rank them from best to worst, Nami, Kraken. Not, not V2 with 70-70 and Prisma. These are all great knives. This is just too blocky for me. You know, I'm actually kind of, I'm showing some love. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. For a beginner, I don't know if I'd recommend this. Uh, with how blocky it is and how sharp this live blade is, it's a little tricky to, I, I don't know. I've seen people go crazy with the trainers, right? But I think generally a better option would be anything NRB has ever made. Um, I might sell this and get an, an NRB knife because I... Wait, no, no, sell this and get an NRB knife. Because this is nice. It's just a little too plastic feeling. I don't know. Yep. It's my collection. Uh, bye.